According to Science News, 2023 was the hottest year on record. Picture this, 2023, a year where the weather went a bit wild. It wasn't just a regular hot summer, it was something extraordinary. The temperatures soared higher than ever in many places around the world, and it caught everyone off guard. Scientists, the folks who study Earth's weather, were not just surprised, they were amazed and a little worried too. The numbers on the thermometers were not just ticking up a bit, they were shooting off the charts. Imagine your normal thermometer reaching the highest number you've ever seen, but instead of just happening in one place, it was all over the world. Even the scientists who usually don't get too concerned about these things were scratching their heads, saying, whoa, this is something we didn't expect. As the months rolled by, it became crystal clear that 2023 was making history. It was on its way to becoming the hottest year ever since humans started keeping track, which is like having a giant thermometer for the whole planet. We've been recording temperatures for about 150 years, and this year was like breaking all the records and then some. Imagine it like this. If all the years were runners in a race, 2023 wasn't just leading, it was sprinting ahead like never before. And the people who study this race, like those at Climate Central, a group that watches Earth's climate closely, were saying, hold on, this year might break even more records than we thought. So, why did this happen? Well, it's not like someone turned up the thermostat at home. It's a bigger thing called, climate change. Imagine the Earth as a giant puzzle, and climate change is like moving the pieces around in unexpected ways. It's making our planet warmer, and that's affecting the weather in crazy ways. It's a bit like when you mix up the ingredients for a cake, but instead of getting a sweet treat, you end up with something surprising. Climate change is mixing up Earth's usual weather patterns, and in 2023, it resulted in temperatures that were off the charts. The Earth was like a chef in the kitchen experimenting with ingredients, but instead of creating a tasty dish, it served up the hottest year ever. So, let's dive a bit deeper into why 2023 turned into such a hot year. Scientists say it's because of this thing called, climate change. Okay, imagine Earth as your favorite toy, it's got a delicate balance of everything, like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Now, think of climate change as someone coming along and shaking up that puzzle. This, shaking up, is like adding extra heat to our planet, and it's making the weather act a bit crazy. It's not just making things warmer, it's like turning up the heat in the entire kitchen. You know how when you turn up the heat on the stove, everything starts cooking faster? Well, Earth is cooking faster too, and that's making some places way hotter than they should be. Imagine playing a game, and someone changes the rules. That's what's happening with the weather. It's not following the usual patterns we're used to. Climate change is like Mother Nature's way of saying, hey, things are getting a bit too warm here, and I need your help to fix it. Now, the scientists, these are the super smart people who study all things Earth, they looked at the numbers, and they saw something strange. Places that usually have normal temperatures suddenly had heat waves that were hundreds of times more likely because of climate change. It's like adding an extra sprinkle of hot sauce to your pizza, it makes it way spicier than you expected. Even in China, it was about 50 times more likely to have crazy hot weather because of climate change. Imagine you're playing a video game, and suddenly, your character gets a power-up that makes it way stronger than before. That's what climate change did to the weather. It gave it a powerful boost, making some places sizzle with heat. So, when you hear about 2023 being the hottest year, it's like the Earth's way of telling us, hey, something's not right, and we need to pay attention and take care of our home. Climate change is like a big puzzle, and the more we understand it, the better we can work together to keep our planet cool and comfortable for everyone. Now, let's talk about the oceans, Earth's enormous, watery playground. Just like the air around us, the oceans were feeling the heat too. Imagine the oceans as a giant swimming pool, and in 2023, someone turned up the pool heater to the max. The sea surface temperatures, or how warm the top layer of the ocean is, were breaking records left and right. It's like the oceans were having a never-ending hot bath. But here's the catch. It's not just about feeling warm and cozy. When the ocean gets too warm, it's not good news for the underwater world. Think of coral reefs as underwater cities full of colorful creatures. These reefs suffered a lot because of all that heat. It's like their homes were getting too hot to handle, and they started turning white. Scientists call this, bleaching, and it's a sign that the reefs are stressed out. But the ocean temperatures in 2023 were not just a little warmer than usual. They were off the charts, and they haven't been this warm in at least 125,000 years. That's like saying the oceans haven't been this hot since way, way before your great-great-great-great-great-grandparents were around. It's like the oceans had a fever, and the scientists were the doctors trying to figure out how to make them feel better. And here's the thing. When the oceans aren't happy, it affects everyone. The underwater creatures, the fish we eat, and even the weather on land. It's like the oceans are sending us a message, saying, hey, take care of me, and I'll take care of you. So, while we're talking about record-breaking temperatures, it's not just about how hot the air is. It's also about how the oceans, these gigantic bodies of water that cover most of our planet, are feeling the heat too. It's a reminder that our home, 
Earth, is a big interconnected system, and when one part is out of balance, it affects the whole picture. Now, let's talk about why all this heat isn't just about feeling sweaty and uncomfortable. When it's super hot, especially at night, it can be really bad for our health. Picture this, it's like you're playing a game, and the nighttime temperatures are not playing fair. Instead of cooling down when the sun goes away, it's staying really hot, like the game is on, hard mode. In 2023, there were places where nighttime temperatures never dropped below 103.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 39.6 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a summer day in some places. Imagine trying to sleep when it feels like an oven outside. It's not just about feeling grumpy in the morning, it can make you sick or even worse. People can get something called, heat stroke, when it's super hot. It's like your body is working too hard to cool down, and that can be really dangerous. In one city in Algeria, they face the hottest night ever recorded in Africa. Nighttime temperatures didn't even dip below 103.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 39.6 degrees Celsius. That's like trying to sleep in an oven set to extreme heat. And guess what? Just after midnight in Death Valley, California, they recorded a temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 48.9 degrees Celsius. If that's confirmed, it would be the hottest temperature ever recorded anywhere at that time of night. Imagine trying to sleep when it's so hot outside that it feels like the middle of the day. It's not just about being a bit uncomfortable, it's a real health risk. Now, here's another thing. In most parts of the world, nights have been getting hotter faster than days for a long time. That's a bit worrying because when nights are super hot, your body doesn't get a break from the heat. It's like trying to cool down without a fan on a scorching summer day. And when nights are too warm, it can mess up your sleep, and nobody likes a restless night. Last year, scientists looked at how warmer nights affect our sleep. They found out that as of 2017, warmer nights were stealing about 44 hours of sleep from each person every year. That's like saying you're losing almost two full days of sleep because it's too warm at night. Now, with 2023 being extra hot, it's like saying this summer might have stolen even more sleep from people all around the world. It's not just about feeling a bit tired. It's about taking care of ourselves when the weather gets a bit too extreme. So, when you hear about all these high temperatures, remember it's not just about the numbers on a thermometer. It's also about how it affects our health, our sleep, and how we go about our daily lives. It's like a reminder that we need to take care of ourselves and our planet, so we can all sleep better at night. Now, let's talk about something else that got affected by all this heat, wildfires. Imagine big, fierce fires spreading because it's so hot, and they don't stop even at night. That's what happened in 2023. The Boreal Region, a massive area with lots of forests near the Arctic Circle, had its worst year for fires ever. In Canada, where a big part of this forest is, there were massive wildfires, and people had to leave their homes because the flames were getting too close. Now, these wildfires are not just about the flames. They release a lot of smoke and carbon into the air, making global warming even worse. It's like the wildfires are adding more fuel to the fire, making the whole planet warmer. Even though the overall numbers for wildfires have been going down, the ones in 2023 were still really bad in some parts of the world. Think of it like this, you're playing with building blocks, and some of them are getting knocked down. That's what's been happening with wildfires. But here's a twist, even though the number of wildfires globally has been going down, the ones in 2023 were especially terrifying. It's like the world was sending us a big warning sign, saying, hey, we need to take care of our planet. In the northern hemisphere, which is where a big part of the world's land is, there was a wildfire in Greece that became the largest ever recorded in the European Union. It's like a game where you break a record, but instead of cheering, it's a bit scary because it means things are getting out of control. And in Hawaii, a place that's usually paradise, a wildfire fueled by drought destroyed much of the town of Lahaina. It left at least 99 people dead, making it the deadliest US wildfire since way back in 1918. It's like saying a usually safe and beautiful place suddenly faced a huge danger. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, where it's usually cooler because it's farther from the equator, wildfires spread in many regions, including Argentina and the Amazon rainforest. It's like saying, hey, even places that are usually not so hot are feeling the heat. In Australia, they had an unusual heat wave in spring, and by August, around 70 wildfires had already been reported out of New South Wales, the country's most populated state. That's like saying the fire season started much earlier than expected. So, wildfires are not just about big flames. They're about homes getting destroyed, people having to leave, and the air getting filled with smoke. And when all that smoke goes up into the sky, it affects the whole planet. It's like a chain reaction. The wildfires get worse because of the heat, and then they make the whole earth warmer. It's a reminder that we need to be careful with fire, take care of our forests, and think about how our actions can affect the world around us.